This show is brought to you by listeners like you. Support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. I'm hungry, but I ain't starving yet. Chain for the pain, cocktail, dog, set. Never said I was a gangster or thug, but I'm an animal. Pain for the taste of the pain. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA for uh, yeah, our weekly uh, uh, chat with pro wrestlers or people around the re- indie wrestling business. Uh, we're having a lot of great conversations here. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can subscribe to Indie Mayhem Show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, or video versions on the Facebook page or over on the YouTube page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And you can also, if you follow that uh, Facebook Wrestling Mayhem Show page, sometimes, like some people have dropped in our chat room today, like Billy, like uh, Tragar, um, you can participate as well. Look out for events when we have things scheduled rescheduled whatever we end up doing here and you can be a part of this as well or submit your questions to anybody we have lined up or anybody you think we should be talking to over a good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or 412-206-WMS0 for the hotline or over on Twitter at Mayhem Show if you want to do that as well. Uh, this week we have um, a, a, a woman wrestler that uh, I've been uh, seeing in the area between IWC, RWA, and I think I've even seen you in VW, VOW here in the greater Pittsburgh area, but she has been a lot of places and taking on a lot of our friends of the show in the meantime. Highly requested, I will add, uh, is Angel Dust joining us finally on the Indie Mayhem Show. How you doing? Oh, your settings just popped up over your face. Let me fix that. <laughs> How you doing today? Doing good. How are you? All right. Thank you so much for joining us here um, uh, on the show. So first off, we like a little bit of a uh, kind of a get to know you question uh, for anybody that maybe hasn't heard of you. You know, it is Indie Wrestling. You never know what people have come across here. Uh, so what is your first memory or what what is the first uh, uh, um, uh, thing that got you into wrestling? Uh, just when I was younger, my, my mom always watched, we, we always grew up just watching wrestling and I just, since first started watching, I just couldn't stop. And I just, just had to be a part of it in some way, shape or form. And I managed to find my way into indie wrestling as I got older and I still, of course, watch wrestling like crazy. And of course, now I'm just excited that I actually get to do this on a weekly basis. That's awesome. So what like kind of made you jump from that? You know, I'm watching it. I'm really into this to I want to get in the ring. Uh, actually, I knew nothing about indie wrestling when I first started. Not many people know that. Um, I found late night TV, uh, a local indie promotion called Cleveland All Pro Wrestling under JT Lightning. Um, and my mom found it was like, hey, you should check this out. And I was probably 16, 17 you know, in, in high school, knew nothing about indie wrestling. And since then, I, I knew I wanted to meet JT and go to Cleveland All Pro and watch these shows and, and, and learn about it. And of course, that's actually how I you know first got into training and into the business was meeting JT and at Cleveland all pro wrestling. That's awesome. I was actually just listening to uh, uh, AIW's wonderful co- podcast today. Uh, card card is going to change. And they were talking about their kind of origins in there. It seems like everybody uh, 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 over the last several years has, has really kind of uh, uh, came out of that JT lightning kind of era up there in Cleveland. Uh, it seems like JT before, before I started coming around was uh, basically anything Ohio, Pennsylvania, like everybody and anybody knew about JT, knew about Cleveland All Pro and everybody wanted to be a part of whatever he was doing. So mm-hmm. it's like if anybody knew anything in, in Northeastern Ohio and in, in Ohio in general, in, in Northeastern United States, everybody knew JT. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and good to see the flag still, still uh, being carried by those guys up in AIW as well. So um, awesome. So like I say, we got a lot of questions here. I, I, I know I, I see you a lot here. Like I said, International Wrestling Cartel, Wrestling Re- uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Uh, as of this recording, just yesterday, I finally finished your match with Jesse Bell Smothers at the last show, which I was uh, looking forward to because I, I, our, our, you know, I was working something else. But I kept getting messages. Hey, hey, great, great women's match tonight. And uh, I know I've seen you in a lot of a lot of great ones over the years uh can you talk a little bit about uh working with jesse bell smothers and and that that crazy as we talk about a lot here on on the on the show uh renegade wrestling alliance crowd uh i love going down to that that promotion that the the crowd is always just so into everything that's going on um i've only uh performed there a handful of times um and for that matter uh with jesse bell uh very very limited uh interaction in the ring before um uh, maybe uh, maybe a handful two three four times now maybe this might be the third or fourth time um but she she's a, a fed of the business she's been around she's been trained properly and and she knows what she's doing so it's great to be able to get in the ring with somebody who who matches that enthusiasm and wants to just put on a, a great performance for the people 
That's awesome. And of course, uh, uh, Trey, Trey mentions that you've uh, been involved with uh, Rise and he's taken the trip out to, to Chicago for Rise uh, for that. Uh, can you talk about that experience of Rise 1, you know, winning the first uh, Phoenix of Rise title, uh, taking on Leva, Leva Bates in your debut? Uh, Rise was definitely something that uh, a group of almost 40 girls got together and the night before, we were all anxious and nervous, not sure what to expect. It was uh, it was definitely something we were all very concerned. Did we get ourselves into something that we, we should back out of now or what? But after that first training seminar, that first show, uh, Rise is definitely something that people need to keep an eye on. There's something big going on right now, and especially for women's wrestling, this is going to be such a huge help. Um, great trainers. Uh, you know, we've had Surya Knight and Colt Cabana help in train and even, uh, 10 years in this business, I'm learning so much being able to do those, those seminars with them. Um, and then of course with, you know, lucky me, I got to do this seminar, this, this match and got a match with Shimmer, uh, my debut versus Leva Bates. Uh, she is definitely, I I was so happy to be in that match with her. I, I could not have asked for a better Shimmer debut. Um, regardless of, of win or loss, like to have that match, to have that crowd behind me the way they did, I definitely felt very welcomed. And Shimmer's been like kind of the de facto great women's promotion over the years, too. It is. Um, I Anywhere you go, you constantly hear women's wrestling and Shimmer all in one. Uh, anybody who, who, you know, any female who's trying to get somewhere, that's definitely a place you want to be seen and you want to get a chance to, to at least experience to get to go and see a show. And then of course, work your way to being on the show. I shouldn't have waited so long to, to take the effort into being there, but I'm glad that I finally am there. And, and it looks like, uh, come, uh, July, July dates, I will be back for a return. So lucky me. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's great to see you getting around on this stuff. Um, you're also uh, uh, going to wait. Then you went on to defend uh, against another friend of the show. We actually just popped up on on, on WWE last week. Uh, Delilah Doom for Rise Two and Britt Baker, another friend of the show here for um, um, AWS the next night. Uh, so so you're really kind of getting around to the, well, there's some area people there, of course, uh, but uh, a, a nice mix of talent, right? And you know what, that, that's one of the best parts about this is you, you know, when I first started, I was stuck wrestling the same group of girls continuously for months and years at a time. Mm. And while that's, that's cool, that's always nice. You know, you get to branch out and, you know, even though Britt Baker is, is literally a couple hours away from me, we've never wrestled one-on-one until we went to California. It was kind of ironic, but at the same time, we got to showcase what we can do in front of a completely different crowd. And same thing with Delilah. Um, I had never, with the exception of these these Rise seminars and so forth, I had never met Delilah Doom before, never really seen her work. And it was just nice to be able to to perform with somebody for the first time together. Absolutely. Um, and also, it looks like you, you got involved with uh, TNA's Rosemary, who is somebody that I've, I've, I've been kind of paying attention to a little bit recently, um, kind of new to her. But uh, are we going to see you guys teaming up in the future? It, it, apparently, Tregar is very interested in that happening. Uh, keep an eye out. It looks like it looks like things are going pretty good for the two of us. So I'm hoping that's the way the situation sticks. There you go. But might, might you be uh, changing your look to match hers a little bit, or uh, taking some style tips from Rosemary? Yeah, keep an eye out and find out, right? <laughs> oh, that'd be badass. But anyways, uh, he, 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 uh, this may this may replace our usual big question for the end of this, but he has a great one here, which I think I'm going to adopt for every every wrestler from now on. <laughs> which retired re- female wrestler, alive or dead, do you wish you have wrestled? You could have wrestled. You know. I- there's so many girls when I grew up, I, I was more into watching the guys wrestle. I was, mm-hmm. um, you know, for me, it was, it wasn't about the pretty face and the, and, you know, and, and so forth. But as the girls just started to progress and just get better, uh, when it was Lita and Trish Stratus and Victoria, like these girls blew my mind and I loved being around them. I, I, you know, gotten to meet a handful of, of these girls who I began to admire and, um, still even now would, would love to step in the ring with any one of those three. Um, I hear so many good things uh, on, on the indie side and, you know, and so forth. Um, I was lucky enough to be in the ring with Sarah Del Rey before she went off. Um, I felt very fortunate for that and wish I could do that again, you know, be a little more experienced now and feel like I could hold my weight a little bit. Um, I guess uh, probably one of the most uh, 
I don't know, common, common ones. I guess I would love to be in the ring with Lita. Uh, she was one of the first first girls who I really admired. I know she's not really like fully retired, but she's not really competing in, in ring much anymore, if if at all. So of course that would be one of the probably one of the top ones I would would ask to get that opportunity one day. Certainly, absolutely. Uh, Traeger also br- uh, brings up here. I think I got the shot right there. You're going to be taking on Shotzi Blackheart uh, as of this recording at the upcoming um, um, Girls' Night Out, uh, defending your Phoenix of the Rise title match. Uh, so, uh, is this a, a, a shot that you're going to be a, a traveling champion of sorts with this? Uh, that was the goal. Um, once we got things settled and, and a, a champion was was crowned, um, of course, that was kind of a a, a sly little thing. I, there was nobody even knew about a title uh, the first night until uh, right before the match. All, all four of us were in the ring, and, and you know the promoter comes out with the title and you know announces the, a, a championship. So that was kind of a bit of a surprise. But um, now that is the goal is to kind of help get some eyes on Rise and what we have going on. So to go ahead and try and here and there try and uh, you know defend that title elsewhere and against some some girls who don't get the chance to you know, get noticed even. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, from there, I, Hey, so generally we like to ask at this point, what are you watching these days as far as wrestling? Or is there anybody in particular that, that you're keeping an eye out for and some pressing you? I, I don't watch much cable TV anymore. So I really, when it comes to Raw and SmackDown, I just hit or miss. I don't get to watch too much. Um, but I constantly am watching YouTube, constantly am trying to like watch some newer wrestlers and, and just, you know, not necessarily even new, just new, old, and mix in between, just trying to learn and, and, you know, just kind of progress myself by watching others. Um, lately, I've been watching a lot of uh, Mercedes Martinez. Um, I've been watching a lot of, of Soraya Knight. Of course, these guys are all, you know, people I've been around with the last few weeks between Rise and Shimmer. I've really been, you know, focusing on. Um, and of course, I, I want to step back and, and, you know, work on my ground roots. And I've been watching a little bit of Dylan, Dylan Milenko and a little bit of little Chris Benoit. Um, basically, just anybody. You know, I know I'll be working with Shotzi here in a couple of weeks. So, of course, I'll start watching some of her stuff to kind of keep an eye out. Um, but I, any, anybody who pops up uh, as somebody new or a fresh face, I like to watch a couple of matches and kind of learn from and just see who they are. Absolutely. It, it seems like um, it's definitely a hot point today of women's wrestling and you say it's, it's been for a while um but with these promotions with there's a lot of it's it's not just in a lot of these promotions uh the women's match on the card just to be the women's match on the card right like there's a, there's a lot more going on around it now and and it's more right. being featured right absolutely um i couldn't tell you how many you know shows we go to where you know female matches aren't just the first half of the show just to kind of to fill in a spot we're now getting semi main event and main event spots left and right on shows. And, and, you know, a lot of the women's matches are featured as the main part of, of, of the, you know, promotions flyers and their posters and so forth. Um, with so many talented females out there right now, especially in indie wrestling, it's the perfect time for females to really step up and step out. And I feel like a lot of people are doing that. And a lot of people are catching on to that as well. Absolutely. Well, of course we're seeing it on the main stage with our, our Charlotte and Sasha bank. Jeez, I always mess it up. Sasha Banks, um, you know, up on the stage in the main event slide, especially at the Hell in the Cell uh, pay-per-view. Does that um, put more eyes your way uh, uh, on the indie level as well? Uh, it does. It does. You know, it's because now people see that and they they almost expect something along that same lines from us. Mm-hmm. And and we can't complain about that. You know, that's that's what we want. You know, especially talented girls like Jessica Havoc, uh, Nevaeh, and this is just Ohio girls alone, let yeah. alone girls across the country who are stepping up and, you know, filling in those spots from shoes that have girls that are going up to bigger and better things. You know, these these girls want that spot. And now we just have to go ahead and take that. You know, but we had the opportunity, so now we're just going to take it. That's great. That's great. Uh, I, I, it's great, uh, personally, seeing women's wrestling is not just the eye candy anymore as well, that there is a little more. We actually have a videographer that was very, very down on women's wrestling and, and has been turned around on it uh, over the course of working on, on shows like RWA and IWC over the years. So it's really cool to see like that turnaround happening in front of us here, uh, even, even amongst the, our crew. Uh, finally, what is the best and the worst thing about indie wrestling or even women's wrestling, if you want to go that way? Um, best thing, I guess there's so many great things going on that it's just, 
meeting so many great different people uh, in and out of the ring, you know, just the experiences you get to have, the traveling. I, I love being town to town, state to state, you know, hopefully soon enough country to country and we'll working on some little things. But it's just like there's so many good things coming out that once you find one good thing, you just feel the vibe and it's just everybody is there to support of each other. Um, the only thing that I guess is kind of a bit of a bummer is just, you know, finding those those weekends off. You know, last weekend I, I, I ended up with with no shows, no bookings and just kind of that that slow venture back to the, the next event, you know. But uh, I mean, it's just a matter of making things, you know, work for us and, and filling in our schedules and, you know, avoiding those, I guess. <laughs> So for, so first off of that, everybody uh, book Angel Dust or tell a promoter about her so she fills her weekends. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No more free weekends. Weekdays are fine as well. Let's do it. That, that really is the goal, right? Is to you know, completely absolutely. like if my schedule's full, I've you're doing well as, as as a wrestler. Absolutely. You know, it's it's you know, it's about making money and being in front of these fans. You know, like I would love to do this every single day. Of course, my body would never be able to take it. But <laughs> I, I mean, it's just it's the truth. But I mean, you know, just just going to training and, and wrestling, you know, one or two days a week isn't enough. You know, when I first started, even to now, there's weekends where I'm wrestling three, four five times in a matter of two, three days. And while, yeah, come Monday or come Tuesday, I'm super sore. It's it's what we want to do. You know, we wouldn't be doing this. if That's not what we wanted. Absolutely. So uh, where can people find out uh, more about you, find you online, find out upcoming shows? Um, basically, I post everything. I have Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, Angel Dust is my name on everything. A picture of me with profile pictures. Um, find me anywhere. Uh, local promotions, nine times out of ten. Uh, I'm throughout uh, usually like Ohio, Pennsylvania. Of course, I scatter a few places in and out. Um, constantly wrestling for like places like mega championship wrestling, pro wrestling rampage, like you said, like IWC and, and I'll be back in RWA here soon. Um, absolute intense championship wrestling, it's all kinds of different places. So it's just a matter of kind of catching up to me. There you go. Go check her out. Go check her out on, uh, of course we got plenty of matches over on indie wrestling.us, uh, featuring her as well in the promotions that we mentioned and, uh, online in person in your town. Uh, please follow her and let, you, let the promoters know about her so she gets out a bit more and fills those damn weekends. So <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much, Angel Dust, for joining us here on the Indie Mayhem Show. Thank you. And uh, if you guys uh, want to support everything, check it out uh, at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Support this show and the others we're doing over Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show so we can spread the 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 mayhem to the universe out there and, and uh, these awesome, awesome wrestlers and wrestling uh, uh, fans and ideas um, on there as well. So uh, check that out and support the show, subscribe to the show, all the places. And until next time, please support indie wrestling. Oh. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.